spring has sprung. Sonic is happy, so is the baby one. King Pluchacha is elated. And Terrence is hiding in the garage. Salutations on this spring Saturday, silly people. Let's have a good time today. Harvey Danger, Flagpole Sitta for Madam Secretary Pat Prime and Cage. But before anyone salutes anybody else's shorts, I would like to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Ron Metzger, Tyler Mugford, and Christian Bach. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. The chords for the whole entire song, except for the bridge, are D, A minor, C, and D. watched live videos of Harvey Danger playing this, and this is the only song I can think of where the whole entire song is literally quarter note down strums. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But let's get a little more detailed with those chords. You can play them that way if you want. That is not wrong. But it seems to me that the D chord is eschewing the baby E string in favor of the low A, a fifth in the bass, making it a little more muddy. And you'll mute the low E string with your thumb so you can just strum away. <laughs> Now on the A minor, it's actually an A minor 7. A minor 7 is made from your A minor by lifting off your ring finger, thereby introducing a G into the mix, the open G string, right? But the Harvey Danger guy puts his ring finger on the E string 3rd fret as well. That's another G, so it's an A minor 7 with a G in the bass and a G in the middle, if you like. <laughs> Which is great, because when you go to play C, all you gotta do is shimmy your ring finger down to the A string 3rd fret. And back to D. And we can't neglect that cool lead part in the intro, it's octave chords. Put your pointer finger on the A string 5th fret, and your ring or pinky finger on the G string 7th fret. Mute everything else with your pointer finger. I got my pointer finger just nudging up on that E string and touching gently without pressing the rest of the string. So again, I can just strum away at this and all I'm gonna hear is the A string 5th fret and the G string 7th fret. I will call out the A string fret and the shape never changes, so the G string fret will just move along in kind. Five, seven, nine, twelve, ten, nine, seven, five, three, seven, three, seven, five. Boom, boom. And if you can believe it, that takes us all the way up to the bridge. It's A major this time, not minor, then G, F, and back to G. Do that twice. I want to publish zines and rage against machines. I want to pierce my... That wasn't my idea. That was my buddy Scott's idea. Anyways, A, G, F, G, twice, and then you hang on your D. Well, he says... into the regular thing, which is what it does until the very end of the song, at which point you just play D for a whole bunch. While the octave guy comes back in, he's going to be on the A string 5th fret, down to the 3rd fret, and sliding back up to the 5th fret. Five. Five. Bunch of times. Until... And that guy is truthfully in drop D. There is one guitar in drop D, that guitar in the song. So you could play the whole song in drop D, but then you, you know, you'd have to, well, you couldn't play your A minor seven with the G in the bass. That's fine, but in your bridge, you'd have to be careful on your G chord not to play the low E string. It would be G with a B in the bass. That'd be fine. And on F, you'd have to play either F with a C in the bass or just baby F. 
also fine. Completely up to you. That's how you play Flagpole Sitta by Harvey Danger. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.